Yo, what up? My name is Don. Today, we're going to be checking out the official trailers for Black Myth Wukong, a highly anticipated action RPG that is set to come out later this year on August 20th. We're going to be checking out the Wii game event trailer that was uploaded two weeks ago, as well as the Summer Games 2024 trailer, which is an event that just happened yesterday on June 7th. So without further ado, let's hop right in and check out Black Myth Wukong. Yo? Bad, bad dreams, bro? Oh. <laughs> That's a boss you have to fight, bro? <laughs> Yo? Okay, okay, so that was the official Wii game event trailer uh, that was uploaded two weeks ago. Um, so, you know, I didn't say it before the video, but this game is, uh, I guess, based on the um, classic Journey to the West, which is a Chinese novel. I had to Google this, by the way, because I didn't know this. Uh, is a Chinese novel published in the 16th century during the Ming Dynasty and attributed to Wu uh, Cheng En. It is regarded as one of the greatest classic Chinese novels um, and has been described as argu arguably the most popular literary work in East Asia. So that's really cool um, that, you know, they're making a game kind of based on this story. Um, you know, I did glance at some of the comments uh, on these three trailers and people are saying this game could be really special if, it, if it's done right. Um, just like I feel is the truth with most games that take this very epic story single player approach it's hard for me to get into single player games just because um you know i'm kind of like add brained and it's just hard for me to like stick stick it through um right now i gotta convince myself to play uh the rest of hades can like finish hades so because somebody actually somebody actually gifted me hades too which is going to be a whole series that i'm gonna do but anyways um back to this game <laughs> uh it looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of one game that I remember growing up back in the day. Um, uh, I used to say it Ninja Gaiden, but I think it's Ninja Gaiden. Um, but anyways, Ninja Gaiden, you know what game I'm talking about. Um, I think the last one I played was like Ninja Gaiden Black or whatever. Uh, that game was the last game that I just remember putting so many hours into um, a long time ago, of course, but putting so many hours into. And the last single player game that I do own but didn't beat we were just talking about it the other day, was actually um, is Red Dead Redemption 2. Somebody was saying that uh, a character in Overwatch reminded them of John Marston, right? And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> I never finished that. Um, but these are all, you know, really cool games. Um, again, the boss fights also remind me of, I never, I, haven't, I still haven't played Elden Ring. I haven't played Elden Ring, but I have watched other people play it. And I've watched other people stress out about those bosses. So I feel like the... You know, just from a gamer's perspective that doesn't know much about the Journey to the West story that will be completely, you know, um, just learning a whole lot about that. Um, just, from a, just from a gaming perspective, I think the game looks sick. I think the boss fights look sick. I think, like, you know, I'm already in, my, in the back of my head. I'm just like, okay, do we get to, like, you know, find different weapons and upgrade our character? Like, I'm about that. You know what I mean? I want to go back and kind of play Red Dead Redemption 2 now. And I say go back. I want it on PlayStation 4, but really, realistically, I just want to play it on PC. So that's one thing I wanted to highlight is that this game looks really cool. And I've been hearing a lot about it through the grapevine. 
but it's really cool that although it's coming out on PS5 and um, Xbox Series S slash X, um, it's also coming out on PC. So, um, and there's no like, they're not pulling like a GTA, like, you know, we're going to release it on console first and release it on PC like later. I don't think they're doing that at least. That's not the impression I'm getting. It says August 20th has the release date across the board um, as far as I found. So hopefully that is true. And uh, I think that it might be cool to pick this up. Um, there are already gameplay videos for this game out, like half hour, 40 minute gameplay videos in 4K and such that I haven't watched yet. Um, but the footage is definitely out there if you're interested in it. Um, so I want to check out the Summer Games Summer Game Fest 2024 video that just was hosted yesterday. This video was just uploaded yesterday. Let's check it out. Graphics in these cinematics are always just mind blowing. Bro. This trailer looks stupid, stupid good, bro. That in his ear, bro. <laughs> he pulled it out like a Q-tip. <laughs> he pulled it out like a Q-tip. Is that it? Just okay. And it shows you some of the bonuses that you get. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Little action figure and stuff like that. A little map. Very cool, dude. Very cool, dude. Um. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, like I was saying, these cinematics blow my mind. That was very short, but these cinematics blow my mind. I think it builds the hype enough. I it was kind of hilarious that he pulled his staff out of his ear like a Q-tip. I thought it was a key. I'm like, you kept a key in your ear. Um, that was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, there's also a video um from uh. 2023 this was the official release date trailer this is when they came up with a trailer to announce the release date that has a lot of views 2.5 million views from six months ago um i kind of want to check that one out too and see if it tells a little bit more story it is a bit of a longer cinematic so that's why i want to check it out but i want to check out the more current cinematics first just to you know experience where the game is at right now experience where the hype is at right now and then kind of go back and watch this short uh, trailer. It's just a little bit over two minutes long. Let's check it out. This is the official release date trailer uh, from the Game Awards in 2023. Their minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time in tombs of somber gray. You too want to be an immortal? Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Cleanse the world with blood and grow lotuses in it. That is your destiny. There it is, inspired by Journey to the West, a Chinese the fantasy West. novel, 1952. Welcome, the destined one. Did I read that correctly? The destined correct? one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Whoa. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Dude. 
Test my kind destined for extermination! You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? What am I watching, bro? You? Oh my god, my goosebumps, bro. Look at my goosebumps, bro. Bro, look at my goosebumps. <laughs> look at my arm, bro. What the hell, dude? What the hell? Um, wow. I am coming into this with a pretty blank slate and like, wow, I'm really happy I watched that because like, wow, that gave me the nerd chills and goosebumps over my entire body and just had me like completely speechless, like more than the other ones did. The other ones were just sick to watch cinematic quality wise, but like that one had a mix of cinematics and in-game footage, as it said at the beginning. And uh, I just want to make sure I got that date right um, for the story. <laughs> it said, uh, New West. oh, sorry, it said, yeah, uh, sorry, I said 1952. I was completely wrong. That doesn't make any sense. I uh, read it backwards. It was uh, inspired by A Journey to the West, a Chinese fantasy novel from 1592, which would make comp obviously more sense. I wasn't thinking. I was so caught up in the story, uh, in the visuals already. Um, anyways, that was awesome. I got to know what you guys think of that, if you're looking forward to that, um, whether you're getting it on PS5 or Xbox or PC. It doesn't really matter. It just looks like they want to make it available to everybody. I think it said, I think I saw a little Steam logo, so it looks like it's going to be available through Steam, which a lot of games are doing lately, including like like one I never expected to see on Steam, like Diablo 4. I've always, you know, obviously there's the Battle.net launcher, so very cool that Steam is just another, you know, access point for all these games. And um, I, at this point, I'm just interested in seeing the price of it um and what's going to be included if they've released information on like digital lux uh digital deluxe versions or you know legendary version or whatever whatever you're going to get i know that we already saw a little bit of the extra goodies that you get in one of the versions we saw that at the end of the summer game uh fest 2024 video so you can go back and pause on those things um you know it looks like yeah you get everything from like a silk scroll to a uh, one to one scale bronze uh, circlet like I can put those things on screen right now really quickly let's just uh, right there there we go you got a steel case a uh, steam digital deluxe edition activation code uh, warranty certificate a thunderstone ring oh wow. <laughs> oh shut up I'm like I like goodies but you got me with the ring I'm like listen I can't I can't I can't man I can't pre-order now oh you can pre-order now oh this is bad news brothers and sisters this is bad news you also let's just go forward a little bit you also get um uh this is steam digital deluxe edition activation code that's the seal case on on the left up here um the thunderstone ring the wind chime necklace and the gold sun crow pin that's just amazing uh and it looks like that we're looking at the collector's edition for some of this extra stuff um you got a little very detailed uh little action figure here it's not a doll i can hear it in the back of my head i said action figure okay don't don't at me um you get a color print on silk scroll teaching of the heart sutra um looks like a little bit of a, a painting like a little artwork piece uh stamps postcard warranty certificate very cool I, I just love these extra goodies that you get in these games they're so cool and make the extra you know purchases worth it um me and my girlfriend would love, 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 love to own more of, you know, these kind of game collectibles as we've never really been able to get them as they're sometimes uh, a lot of extra money, <laughs> as you as you all know. But 
I, I'm already, I'm, I'm sucked into the hype. I really am. I'm sucked into the hype. I can't wait to take a look at some of the gameplay videos and maybe give my commentary on those. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, more reactions like this, uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.